The state continued this morning with more witnesses in an attempt to uphold the convictions of the group of men known as the Fairbanks Four. No illegal conduct. We saw a car that was sitting on the side, on the top of a sidewalk, and guys that looked very guilty. With more testimony from a cab driver who says she had a quote crazy story to tell about what she saw on the night of Hartman's murder. You said in response to Ms. Bachman's question that things are not always what they seem. They may be innocent. Yeah. But her story has had many gaps, especially with the evidence that actually convicted the men. Today, she testified she couldn't recollect if it was indeed 9th or 10th Avenue where they were parked and swore the vehicle was driven by Kevin Pease. Furthermore, Robert's car that authorities have had impounded as the suspect vehicle for 18 years now is a blue two-door, not the beige four-door that she said she saw that night. Not my position to say these guys are guilty. I never in all these years said they were guilty. All I said was I saw something and that something meant something. It's been plaguing me all these years. So you saw a tan four-door car in the corner of 9th and Barnett? Could have been 9th or 10th. Another man, Harold Lundy's testimony, placed Jason Wallace inside of the vehicle where another man, Scott Davidson, says they were confessed to about the Hartman murder just days after it happened. But it wasn't what Wallace said about Hartman that the state presented this morning. It was all about what he didn't. Called to testify from Spain was the prosecutor who tried Bill Holmes for a double homicide in California. The same suitcase held the defendant's shoes, a jacket, jeans, and cap, all bloodstained. It was a multi-state murder conspiracy between both Wallace and Holmes that landed them in jail. Much like this case, Wallace was granted immunity for his testimony against Holmes. If it's a co-defendant who's cooperating under an, agree, uh, uh, an immunity agreement, right? Sometimes we have to make a deal with the devil, as they say. The state has made their stance known. Holmes didn't confess in that earlier crime to knowledge of Hartman, and according to them, that makes his confession this time not credible. As you pointed out earlier, defense attorneys don't always get the, all the information from their own clients. So, This is Stephanie Woodard reporting.